Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. I just want to say a big thank you to my homie Johannes because Johannes, uh, me and him were just grinding all these objectives like crazy to get these cards out and uh, he obviously got Awar so it's going to be a really sick card to review because it obviously fits his team for the fun concept so I'm definitely looking forward to trying it out. Ladies and gentlemen, this will be the second card that we review for the storylines today because we're checking out whether or not it's worth picking up these cards. I really enjoy using Philippe Anderson in my team, and um, my boy over here wants me to put an anchor chemistry style on him, which, in my opinion, makes the most sense. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and then after we do that, we're going to go check out the specific stats on the card to see, you know, what I expect from the card before I try him out. Because Awar is a type of player, right, where... You know, his rare gold card was one of like those really cheap options to have in the beginning of the year, right? So, with Alwar's card, we're looking at someone who is 5'9 with high medium work rates, 3 star weak foot, and 4 star skill moves. So, right off the bat, if you're going to be using this card on your team, I highly, highly, highly recommend using him as your right center defensive mid. I wish he had the 4 star weak foot. If he had the 4 star weak foot, it'd be crazy to have. Uh, but unfortunately, he doesn't. But the thing about this card is. His dribbling is going to be fantastic because I know that his rare gold or his non-rare was already fantastic because I had him in the beginning of the year for my cheap team. So taking a look at this, you're looking at a card that with the anchor chemistry style, right, plus five in the acceleration, plus five in the sprint speed seems like the right decision here because you're looking at a card that has an attacking presence with his 85 finishing, uh, 73 sh uh, uh, shot power is not great, but look at his dribbling stats, look at his passing stats. You have a player that's going to be very, very good all round, right? If you look at his defensive stats, the anchor chemistry style makes a lot of sense to put on him because of the specific boost that he gets on the card. The physical boost will help a lot Considering the fact that he's going to be a very fast, agile player with good aggression, so I do expect this card to actually be very good defensively as well, um, but we're going to be trying him out in different play styles, right? Because I do think that this is one of the cards that you probably should get as well. Both of them look like really sick cards and uh, with Alwar's card he is a French player from the League One right so that French link you know you can link him up with Mbappe get that direct link like that you can get the direct link with uh, Depay in the team right there's so much different options you can do with French players from the League One or just French players in general to link up with different uh, players on the pitch so the team that he has set up right now for me looks really nice with the custom tactics we're looking at uh, the tactics like this. He already knows my tactics because, you know, this guy is one of my mods. He's amazing. Um, and he's going to be using Awar on the right side because he knows that I would like to use Awar on the right side. So, specifically for instructions, we're going to tell him to stay back while attacking and cover center, right? With those instructions, you guys know that the tactics are the, or the, the, the player's characteristics will make him attack. Right? So I want to see if his off-the-ball movement makes him attack, but also makes him transition back quickly uh, with those high-medium work rates and decent physical, defensive, uh, as well as pace stats. So it's going to be very interesting to try out this card in regards to how he's going to be moving. He already knows my exact tactics that I use. Um, except for this one, we, we do actually know because of Messi, it makes sense that he actually did that. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and try out the card and see how he plays. Hopefully... Hopefully he's a monster in that CDM position. Through his dribbling is like on the ball. Yeah, anchor is the right chemistry style to put on him. I, I think giving him that defensive physical boost is going to be very very important. So it's a good it's a good uh, it's a good chemistry style to give him. I th I, I, I think I definitely prefer it over the shadow chemistry style for sure. General positioning is that if he's on stay back while attacking, he does actually stay back while attacking. I want to see how he moves when we're in this general position right here. So if we do this, do that, he kind of pushes up really nicely in a general position. So that's not too bad. So with stay back while attacking, even though he has the high medium work rates, the high medium work rates is going to be essentially for when you use him on balance. So because I want to see what his attacking presence and what his defensive presence is going to be like, um, I need to specifically tell him to play on balance instructions to play more to um, his characteristics uh, to see if he moves a certain way that I'd like him to move. See what his shots are like from across. Ooh, not too bad. 
not too shabby. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and switch his instructions over here to not stay back while attacking. I do want him to cover the center, but I want to see what he plays like with those high medium work rates because stay back while attacking on these cards, they're going to stay back while attacking. So the high medium is just going to suggest, hey, you know, I could attack if you really want me to. So I need to see what he does with those. Oh, very quick response of dribbling right there. Good little quick dribbling to open up the space right there. Maybe if I took a different type of shots, I would have, I would have uh, potentially scored that. But um, yeah, man, his his very responsive dribbling is going to be a huge thing with this card for sure. Yeah, so he still stays back while attacking. He's going to utilize this empty space here, though. Yeah, so when he's on uh, when he's on balance instructions, his his general movement is actually quite nice because he still doesn't push up if he doesn't necessarily need to, which to be honest with you, I like a lot because it kind of gives you more options uh, just in case you do have that space in that general position. Uh, he's going to offer you that little bit of extra attacking presence there. All right, so now we're, that we're, we were just analyzing uh, Alwar's off the ball movement. Let's be a little bit more serious right now and see if we can uh, score a nice little opportunity here from just general FIFA play. Nice, he offers that a little extra presence for me to attack nicely there. He came close to me, I like when players come close to me. Oh, I thought Messi would get that on his left foot for sure. Oh, Lionel Messi on his left foot, beautiful little goal right there. So what I want to do right now is I want to check out their positioning off the ball wise, which is pretty good to be honest. Awar and De Young play really well off each other for sure. So that's pretty good. That off the ball movement when you're defending is very, very important. Awar's positioning off the ball uh, in terms of allowing me to attack and defend properly is also very good so far. See how he's, he, was, he just transitioned from the defensive area to the attacking one really nicely. You gotta be careful with when you push him out of the field, because if you push him out, right, like if you have the balance instruction, the thing you have to be careful about with these types of cards is that when you put that instruction on them, they don't aggressively push back because of that specific work rate. So I still do recommend stay back while attacking on the card, but to have a very nice uh, dribbling and attacking oriented card that can defend really nicely. Uh, but I do recommend only putting him on stay back while attacking. The reason why we have him on balance right now is because we want to see what he does offer when he does push up the pitch, right? I do really like how he comes close to me to receive the pass when I'm transitioning with my fullbacks. That little left stick dribble dribble thing that he does is brilliant, man. Nice, Messi. Great job there, man. Great pass there with Awar. Very lucky there. Very, very lucky. We just move on from that. We don't watch replays here, guys. We just keep it going, you know? FIFA's, FIFA's a weird game sometimes, so we just keep it going. I will say right now with Awar, guys, that he doesn't get himself involved defensively that much. Um, he obviously, like, does the generic stuff where it's, like, tracking back and whatnot. But uh, I do not recommend using him as a CDM. He's definitely, he's definitely a center mid type of card for sure. All right, guys, so final verdict on the card. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys use this card as a CDM... Uh, I really think you have to give him a shadow card. I, I think you have to completely ignore the physical aspect of the card if you're going to be using him as a CDM for that interceptions and for that pace to compensate if he doesn't make specific tackles and such, right? Um, I do not recommend using this card as a CDM. However, I do recommend using him if you are going to be using him in the center mid position because center mid position, you're looking at a card in the right center mid position 
that essentially can do everything, right? He's got he's got pace, shooting, passing, dribbling, uh, decent defensive stats, not great for a CDM, right? And uh, decent physical stats. So, you know, if you give this card um, an anchor and you want him to be a more defensive-oriented center mid, you're looking at a very good card here because he still has the finishing, still has the dribbling. He's a very, very good card to be able to open up the space with, right? I just don't recommend using him as a CDM if that's your choice. Now, this is obviously due to personal preference. Some of these things you'll notice with the cards right away. I prefer players like Lauren Blanc to be like my CDM. De Jong, rare gold card for me, defensively plays better than this Awar card. But everyone's experience could be different. You may use this card in your CDM position and really like him. For me, I just felt like he didn't really offer himself defensively where, you know, it, it, it allows me to play the way that I want to play, right? Because his attacking presence is really nice, but the sole focus of CDMs for me is to be able to defend really nicely. However, that's because of my play style. I don't use center mid formations. So if you do use center mid formations, this card will be very, very good in the center mid position. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. I will catch you guys for the next episode. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.